Hey yo guys, what's up? It's me, Lissa, and I'm back with another video. I wanted today's video to be a little different than how I usually do them. I wanted to take something on the more creative side, so I decided I was going to show you guys my year in review through makeup. I've split up my year into quarters to make this easier so I didn't have to do 12 makeup looks. Obviously every year starts with January. And January was when I first really started to take makeup seriously. It was the time that I realized that maybe I did have potential and I, I could do something with this. The first look that I did in 2017 was a recreation of one of James Charles' looks. It was a purple smoky eye with like an orange crease, gold liner, it was, just, it was so pretty and I decided to recreate it and now I'm recreating it again for the sake of this YouTube video. February was kind of boring, nothing really fun happened in February. In March, I ended up having to have surgery, and I was in and out of the hospital every now and then. I had to have two procedures done, I guess. And while I was recovering, I basically lived in the same tie-dye shirt for days. It was like my comfort shirt. Comfort shirt? Not long after my surgery, I started to get back into music. It was always something that I liked to do, but it was kind of on the side for me. It was at this point that I decided I was gonna take it seriously and start pursuing that in my own way. I got more comfortable with my voice and who I was as a person and started performing more for my school. And that boosted my self-confidence and sent me skyrocketing onto this happy bit. That, that's supposed to be a treble clef. My music helped me recover in so many ways, more than just physically. It helped me build my confidence, helped me be who I wanted to be. Moving into April. April was when I first started dating my first boyfriend. And he was great. We were like a dynamic duo. We started off as best friends and it morphed into what it was. We ended up going to prom together, but we're not, we're not going to talk about him all that much. It's in the past. But I, I did recreate my prom look for this section of the year. It was one of my favorite looks I've ever done. Not long after prom is graduation. My graduation cap had these beautiful blue flowers all the way around it, and it just it makes me so happy when I look at it as it's sitting on my desk. With all the good things that happened in those three months, a lot of bad things happened too. I ended up breaking my foot, which is never fun and I ended up losing my best friend, who I still miss every day. And while those things beat me down emotionally, I always managed to find myself getting back up. In the last quarter of the year, I ended up starting my modeling career, which is phenomenal. I also got accepted into a play, which was amazing. I was a stage manager, I wasn't an actor. And I actually launched my YouTube channel, and I decided I was gonna take it seriously. And with all these great things, I can find myself getting burnt out. But I'm not going to let that stop me. After all, this is just the beginning of something great. With the end of one chapter comes the beginning of another. So, cheers to 2017. And we're going into 2018 with a fresh start. See you then. So that's it. That's my 2017 in review through makeup. If you guys liked it, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because we're going to have some epic stuff happening in 2018. Just wait. realize this is gonna say BS.